Somebody clap your hands and thank God for a love that is greater than anything. Come on, guys. Let's baptize some people. Somebody just stand up a minute and look at three people and say, I love my master. I love him more than I love. I love him with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. I love my master. Come on down. Praise God. You can be seated. Give us your name. Malachi Young. And your mother is the young lady that was singing up here named Amy. Is that right? And Michael's right down there. I saw him somewhere on the front row. I believe he, oh, is Michael? Where's Michael? I saw him somewhere. There he is. I saw him. And this is a big day. How old are you? 18 years old. Why are you doing this? Um, just to be born again and just to be created new. And um, just to really set an example for the youth and anyone else that wants to do this and has a, and Jesus is having a pull on their heart. And I just want to ask a question for anyone out there. Um, who would you rather follow? The one demon that is the devil who's trying to destroy everything in our lives? Or the one we call Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who's died on the cross for our sins and rose on the third day for us? Powerful. He's got an incredible voice, too, by the way. Quite a, quite a singer on scholarship and all kinds of stuff happening. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And here's another young, I believe. Give us your name. Michael Young. And Michael, what, why are you doing this? How old are you? I'm 16 years old. What made you do this? Um, so about two weeks ago, we had the prayer night here. And um, God just really spoke to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> in, the, in the prayer meeting. Yes, sir. He just, I felt such reassurance and happiness because he was just talking to me. And I just really feel that blessing is around the corner for my family. And... I'm doing this because I just want a better, closer relationship with him, and I just want him to use me to speak to others, and I just want him to bless me and my family. So powerful. And you know, uh, you were raised in church all your life. You've been raised in church, and sometimes the enemy targets you even more because you were raised in church, but what you're saying is, I love my master. And I'm being marked today for his purpose and his glory. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless him, Lord. Use him, God. Bless his family, Lord, in Jesus' name. Give us your name and your age. I'm Esther Nwafo, and I'm 15. 15, and you've been around here a long time. Yes, I have. We're so proud of you. Why are you doing this today? Um, I'm here to, you know, just have a close relationship in God and just continue to follow him. Man, and, and do you know Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Then upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Give us your name, please. My name is Alicia Bokar. And how long have you been coming to the church? About 15 years. 14 years? Wow. So I bet you have a mother who's here, right? Family. Whole family. Right there. There's the whole family back there. God bless you. God bless you. And why are you doing this? Because your mama told you to? No, it's not that. I'm doing it because even though I got baptized when I was five in another church, I didn't really understand what I was doing. And so I fully understand this, and I'm doing this as a public proclamation. And I'm doing this also out of obedience, you know. Um, it's a little tough, you know, it's, it's another element, but I know that I'm gonna do this out of obedience, yes. and I want a better relationship with God, and so I feel like this is gonna make me closer and prepare me for the next steps in my life. You are his child. This is what God the Father said over Jesus at the baptism at the Jordan River. You are my child in whom I am well pleased. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless her, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Give us your name, please. 
My name is Brittany, and I'm 26 years old. 26. And what made you come to Free Chapel? Um, I've heard a lot about Free Chapel, and when I used to live in Florida, I used to watch your services also, and then I moved to Georgia about six years ago. Um, I didn't really have a home church, so I was like just going around to different churches, and Free Chapel um, really resonated with my heart. Um, and I'm doing this because um, I was baptized six years ago, and um, I, I've been going through some mental um, weights that, you know, I tried to figure out things on my own and not give God his control, you know, understanding that he has a plan for my life instead of myself trying to work it out. So um, I just want to encourage any other young person or adult out there that just put on the full armor of God, you know, um, and he will guide you, you know, yes. it may not be easy, but you'll get through it. So powerful. Thank you for that. What a light. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless her, Lord. Powerful. Powerful. Praise God. Come on. Down. Give us your name, please. Leroy Macon. And how old are you? 20. 20 years old. And how did you end up at Free Chapel? Uh, I came here last year. Uh, my family introduced me, Alicia Bacar. She mentioned me uh, to this church last year, around, around this time last year. And it's been changing my life ever since. So she invited you to come to church? Yes. yes she did. And did you, was there a service where you walked down the aisle and gave your heart to the Lord? Or was it just a, uh, how, did you, how did you accept Christ? Um, I accepted it through just listening to you and getting inspired by what you say and what the words you use. And it just slowly built me up and just, it just started changing me over time. So at 20 years of age, you have decided to follow Jesus. Yes, I have. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Let's give God a mighty praise for that. That is powerful. That is powerful. Hallelujah. Hey, what's your name? Leslie. Leslie, how did you end up here? Um, I've started at Free Chapel two years ago. I've been in church all my life, but through starting SOD, I realized I didn't know the gospel and how much God loved me, even if I'm not perfect. So I had to lay a lot of things down, but I'm here for a fresh start. And, and have you recently made a commitment to Jesus? Yes. Good. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless our Lord. Praise God. Praise God. You got some friends here. What's your name? Angie Simpson. And Angie, why are you getting baptized today? Um, because it's been a hard journey. I'm at New Beginnings. <laughs> You're at New Beginnings. How long have you been there? A year. New Beginnings is a restoration center where women go and get their lives back from the power of the enemy, from every addiction and every torment of the past. And so you've made that decision. Were you raised in church? No, no I'm from up north. I'm from Vermont. And um, we did not. There was no God. I've... All right. So you show up at New Beginnings and that's like going from no God to all God. <laughs> she said all God. <laughs> yeah, we have 13 church services a week. We're there. We start our day in church and we end our day in church. And what did you think when you first got there? They're all crazy or what? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, but it was, I, I needed it, but I wasn't quite ready. Like I've been there for a year and it's a 12 month program and I don't graduate for another eight months. I'm a hard case. I was, and, um, but I'm finally, it's there, but there's lots of seeds. Um, we, like I said, we start our day in church. We end our day in church. Um, we come here, we come to the conferences. Um, and it's just, I need this. I've been battling addiction since I was 11 years old. So I need it. You are a miracle that you're in this water today. <laughs> Jesus loves you. He's forgiven you. And more importantly, he's going before you, preparing the way into a brand new life. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Melissa. And uh, what is your story? I'm just ready to take the next step to give my life to God for me and my, my daughter. Are you with New Beginnings also? How long have you been there? Four months. Four weeks. Four months. Four months. And so you've made the decision to follow Jesus. Is your daughter with you in the program? She. Oh, you're carrying. You're carrying. She's getting baptized too. Yep. That's awesome. I've never thought about it like that. Two birds with one stone right here. I baptize you and your baby in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ. And the devil never expected that baby to be blessed. The devil never expected that baby to see the goodness of the Lord. But I baptize you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a mighty praise. What a miracle. What a miracle. Actually, I doubt the devil even thought that baby would see life. But he shall, in Jesus' name. What's your name? Jessica Casey. And, uh, and from the cheer of the crowd, I can tell you have friends. So how did you end up at New Beginnings? Um, before I came to New Beginnings, I was a drug addict. Um, I was an adulterer. Um, I was a hypocrite. I lived a life full of filth. This is actually my second time in New Beginnings. Um, my children were taken from me in July of last year. My husband uh, committed suicide in October of last year. And I was too sorry to even show up to his own funeral. I was in no shape to take care of my children. In July, on July 6th of this year, um, I asked Jesus back into my heart because I hadn't been living for him here at Free Chapel. And um, I told God, I made a commitment to him. I said, I will live for you for the rest of my life. And I'm through with that old life. And I'm so thankful. And I have hope now. I have not spoken to my children in over 15 months, but I'm believing that through my obedience, God will restore. 100% agree with you. You're forgiven. You're forgiven. You're forgiven. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ. Walk in newness of life. When you come up out of this water, the old you is gone. And you're a brand new. Isn't that a miracle? That's what all of us have to have happen. We have to be born again. And he's doing it right now. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The gospel still heals broken lives. Praise the name of Jesus. Give me your name, please. Bridget. Bridget, why are you doing this? Um, I, I'm, I'm with New Beginnings as well. I've been there for a month and a half, and um, I know God will see me through this. Um, it's been a struggle. It's been a 10-year addiction. And I'm still battling every day, but I know he'll see me through this. Man, what would you say to someone who's struggling with an addiction? Do they need to get help? Yeah, if I can get through it, there's help for you too. Come on. How long have you been sober? Um, since July of this year. Praise God. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Give us your name, please. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Tur turn his mic on. Nombre, por favor. Jaylin. And do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? ¿Conoces a Jesús como tu Señor y Salvador? Sí. How did you end up at Free Chapel? ¿Cómo viniste a Free Chapel? Eh, me invitó una amiga este, muy querida. Me dijo que te va a gustar. Visité varias iglesias y aquí me sentí como en familia. She visited so many churches and one of her friends invited her to free chapel and immediately she felt like family. That's wonderful. And how old are you? Excuse me. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? 31. 31. And Jesus is Lord of your life? Is Jesus, es Jesús el Señor de tu vida? 
then I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Yes. This is her husband. God bless you. What is your name? David Peña. And, and how, so did you come with her? Is my esposa. His wife, yes. His wife, yes. So you came with her. Vinieron los dos juntos aquí a la iglesia. Sí, yes. acá vinimos juntos. And what did you think about the church when you first came here? ¿Qué pensaste la primera vez que viniste aquí a la iglesia? Sentí como una energía acá adentro y cuando escuchaba las alabanzas no podía quedarme sentado. Yeah, when he walked in, he felt a different energy, atmosphere, and when he heard the worship, he couldn't sit down. That's awesome. You knew you were in the right place. Sabes que estás en el lugar correcto, ¿verdad? We love you and we're so glad you're here. Te amamos, estamos muy orgullosos de ti. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And give us your name, please. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? María Juana Félix. María. María, and how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? 16. 16. 16. Why are you doing this today? ¿Por qué estás haciendo esto hoy? Because I love Jesus Christ and I want to change my life. And he's going to help you. He's going to do that in Pastor, your life. Pastor, can I say something please, about her? Please, please. It's very special to have touched my heart. Uh, Spanish is her second language. So she speaks a dialect from Guatemala. So, and she came to church against her family. She's doing this right now against her own family. Wow. They disconnected her phone so that we couldn't connect with her for the baptisms. They don't want her to do this, but she's still doing this. And she's here today. So powerful. How many of you want to let her know she's not alone? She loves her master. She loves her master. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless her and keep her, Lord. Bless her and keep her, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hi. Give us your name, please. John Klusner. John, what made you come to Free Chapel? Um, my wife and I uh, were looking for a church when ours closed down, and we were called here very powerfully. Your church closed down? They stopped having services during COVID. Yeah. And so you came during the COVID yeah. crisis? We did, yes. And it was a, um, one week after another, just called back each time. We went through next steps, and we're in our second phase of SOD right now. Praise God. It's wonderful. Well, I'm so glad that God could use even a virus to get you here. And, and we're so honored to have you. It, it's never too late. Were you in? So you were in another church? In another church, I was. Um, I was actually sprinkle baptized at six weeks old and raised in a religious environment, but um, spent most of my life living in my own strength yeah. until God answered a, a long-standing prayer and gave me children, gave me two wonderful sons, and they're here with me today. And um, began a journey back, and I, there's still room for me to grow in Him and room for Him to grow in me. Well, this is a big day, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more than sprinkle you right now. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless him, Lord. Bless his family. Bless his sons. Bless his life. Jesus, mighty name. Give me your name, please. Jason White. Jason, why are you doing this? I'm tired of um, bondage. I deal with alcoholism, and... Um, I just want to be a better person and uh, be a better provider for my children. And uh, I love my master. I believe, I believe that. I hear the yearning in your heart for a change. And the change has come. It's time. It's time for a new life. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless him and keep him, God. Jesus' name. Give us your name, please. Perla. And what what brought you to Free Chapel? Well, um, last year, 
my family was going through something really serious and my brother and sister-in-law invited me here and I don't know if it was a coincidence but your sermon changed me it was just like for me and through you your church my family today is whole again that's a miracle to God be the glory that is a miracle and uh, anything else you want to say um, my husband is in the audience I love you and we are here together because of God through you to God be the glory for that I baptize you in the name of the Father the Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit bless that family Lord isn't that great isn't that great she said I love my husband God bless you. What's your name? Ann Irary. And Ann, who invited you? Did somebody tell you about the church? Yes. Uh, we are originally from Kenya, and we lived uh, for 11 years. Uh, we had lived in uh, coming for eight years. Then our relatives came for, to visit from Kenya, and they asked us to bring them here because they had been watching you on TV over there. That's how we found out about Free Chapel. Wow. That's quite a story. And so here you are. Here we are. Um, so when we started in, um, attending, we loved it. But um, what we didn't know, personally, uh, my husband is here with me. But personally, I have been struggling with faith. I've given my life to Christ several times. But what, we, what I didn't know was that um, there were people using witchcraft and other evil spirits on us. So we, I kept struggling with faith. I would get saved and backslide. But uh, this time, uh, God has worked through his servants. We've gone through deliverance. And we're here to get baptized and publicly declare that since he loved us while we were still sinners, now we are uh, dying with him and rising up with him to serve him forever. Amen. What a testimony. I baptize you into the blood, into the victory, into the freedom of the name of Jesus Christ in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Somebody give God glory. Hallelujah. So you came from halfway around the world to be here today. God had a plan, didn't he? Yes, he has brought a lot, a lot of people to our house. They will come spend the night and they say they want to go to free chapel. And I was, we are like, okay, you go to free chapel. You go to free chapel. Then one time he's like, okay, those who cannot take themselves, we will bring them to free chapel. And from there we met you. And it has never been the same again. <laughs> you want to say anything else? Yes. Uh, we have gone to a lot of churches, looking where God speaks, filled with the Holy Spirit. And the free chapel is one of those places. Amen. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Use him, Lord. Use him mightily. Praise God. What's your name? My name is Isaac, and I'm 31. Isaac, 31. You're a big boy. Uh, How did you hear about Free Chapel? Do you remember the first service you ever came here? Uh, yes, and uh, my boss actually commanded me to come here for 10 weeks straight. He said, you have to go to Free Chapel for 10 weeks. So He commanded you? Yes, yes, he did. I don't want you to tell his name, but he's a good guy. So, so, so you had to come whether you, it wasn't like what I was preaching today. You, you, you had to come. Well, I felt it, it was, it was the right thing to do. And honestly, I thought I was going to be in shambles, but I'm feeling joyful right now because I've been dealing with uh, anxiety and addiction and depression. And uh, I love my father. I really do. And my father is God in heaven. And I'm so thankful to be here today. So, so the guy said, I'll hire you and help you. Did you tell, he knew you were struggling? So I'm in a leadership position where I'm at and I need to steward that position. And I did stumble and he knew. I talked to him about it and he said, go to Free Chapel for 10 weeks. And here I am getting baptized. <laughs> and he didn't make you do this. No. No. We're so proud of you. And it's just the beginning. There's no telling. Everything you need, God's got it. Amen. 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 
I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Bless him, Lord. I like what he said. He said, I thought I would be in shambles today, but instead I just feel joy and I just feel happy. That's how it ought to be. How you doing? Good. I never met a celebrity before, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, whatever, whatever. I am not a celebrity. If this is your celebrity, you need to up your game a little bit. I guess I do. So how, how long how long have you been at the church? So about half hour, hour or something like that. I, I've been here once before a couple of weeks ago. I'm, I've been online since uh, the beginning of COVID when the National Day of Prayer, a friend of mine's brother sent me the link and I started watching you and I got into the church and I've been watching ever since. I've been next steps on second phase of SOD and right now I'm here with the celebrity. So, so, so you started watching online. Where do you live at? Chicago. You, ca you came all the way from Chicago to be baptized. I had no idea. I had no idea. That's crazy. So you flew in to be back. You can call me anything you want to call me. You, 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 that's amazing. So you started watching online, and you wanted to come here and be baptized. Yeah. I've been wanting to be baptized since the last time the baptism, and I couldn't get uh, the logistics right. And I ended up, uh, I, I came here a couple weeks ago, and they said baptism was happening. I'm like, I'm, I booked my flight as I was waiting for service. And uh, I'll be back here probably November 7th for that Sunday uh, monthly prayer thing because I want to be part of that. So, yeah. yeah, so. Love it. How many of you thank God for this? We love you, man. We're glad you're here. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the real celebrity, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Come on and give the Lord a mighty praise. Lord bless him in Chicago. Is that it? That, that went fast. Stand to your feet. Every head bowed, every eye closed. What he did for them, he can do for you. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You must be born again. You must be born again. It's not enough to be religious. It's not enough to even think about God. You must be born again. And he's calling you home today. The miracle that happened for these can happen for you. Pastor, pray for me. I need to get right with God today. If that's you, right where you're standing, I won't make you come forward. Our time is gone. But right where you're standing, just slip your hand up and say, pray for me. I want to get right with God. There's a hand. There's a hand. There's a hand. Anyone else? Raise it high and unashamed up in the balcony. There's a hand. There's a hand. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Beautiful, beautiful. There's a hand and another and another and another and another and another. I don't know what it is about this side. There's another and there's another. Anyone else? Anyone else? Pray this prayer out loud. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you because you first loved me. Save me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Today I give you my life. Today I choose Jesus and I will serve you with all my heart, all my strength, all my mind, I give it to you all. I receive your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, I am free. Amen and amen. Welcome to the family of God. You are forgiven. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine on you. Be gracious unto you. Lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.